Okay, so I'm Grice Walker. Hello and welcome to the first match of Group A of the Dota 2 Bot Masters. As you can see, we've queued up an, uh, a beginner AI versus medium default Valve bots. We're going to start the game and we're going to hope it works. If it does work, we're going to hope that I can pull off the task, oh, which is casting, analysis, camera work, and just vaguely filling some information about this. So, on the dire side, Valve Media Legion bots Commander. have picked up Tiny, Luna, Sanking, Warlock, and Assassin. Whereas, Zeus. for a beginner AI, Necrophos. they appear to have picked up Shadow Fiend, Legion Commander, Phantom Assassin, Zeus, and Necrophos. This is one part where my analysis falls flat because I do not know that much about drafting and team composition. However, if you had to ask me what my base assumption is, I feel like the Dire side might have a stronger lineup. It seems a little bit more balanced, and it seems as though it's a little bit less greedy. Because you've got some big team fight ultimates. You've got Prepare Sanking, Warlock, Kunkka, Luna, Tiny. All of these love big 5v5 skirmishes. Bot fights. Bot fights are often a little bit skirmishy in the early game, like ones and twos, and then big fives in the late game. Whereas, for a beginner AI, you've got Necrophos Legion, who they're not against big fights, but they're more pick off heroes. Shadow Fiend, he can do well in a big fight. And Phantom Assassin Zeus, are they big fighters? I feel like if a beginner AI wins this, it will be because of uh, stronger play, stronger mechanical gameplay. And we can see that immediately in the sense that Kunkka has bought Tango Salve. He's also bought Clarity, better. two sticks and a, two branches and a stick. But he doesn't have them on him. Warlock starting with a crown. Oh, we've got a movement here in the middle lane. This is where I'm going to have to really work on my minimap awareness. So beginner AI is three man dancing on the top rune and two man dancing on their radiant side high rune. Looks like we might have a skirmish here because Kunkka's running in. Immediately gets attacked up. The battle begins. Phantom Assassin's on him. The heal from Warlock. They do steal the rune. No, Phantom Assassin got the rune. First Blood and the rune, and they're chasing down the Warlock. They don't have a way to slow him. Oh, they do, the dagger. And this bolt, but he doesn't have the mana for another bolt. Warlock's going to TP. This is going to be close. A 90 health. It wasn't that close. Let's put on the last hit counter. It always annoys me when I'm watching Dota. They don't put the last hit counter on for the first seven or eight minutes. Shadow Fiend should probably dominate Tiny mid. Um, much stronger damage. He's a ranged hero. I'm sure you can win this lane as a Tiny. But with bots, I'm going to try and keep my assumptions simple. And we're watching that already. Shadow Fiend 3 to 2, Tiny 1 and 0. Let's have a look up top. We've got Sand King with the Luna against Necro Legion. Immediately, I'm watching as a beginner AI is taking a huge last hit lead. They're already 12, 13 to 1 up, 14 to 1 up across the map. So in all lanes, they are dominant in their CS. The medium bots are not aggressive enough, they're not fighting for the lane enough. Whereas Legion just walks up, gets some last hits. Uh-uh. Phantom Assassin, farming poorly, I will say. Bought herself a Wraith Band, that's a good choice in the current patch. The stats double at 25 minutes. Zeus, denying up the range creep. The most important creep of the waves. Um, it stops you getting a large amount of XP and a decent amount of gold. Phantom Assassin's bought up a stick now. Do we have a thing for items? We do. Oh, people are buying braces and wraith bands across the board. Lots of branches. Kunkel whiffs on his torrent by a mile. Tiny has ran away from the lane to pick up a water rune to heal 80 mana. But whilst he's doing that, Shadow Fiend is just 
freely denying 10 creeps in the middle lane. Tiny has one last hit, that's one last hit. Two Shadow Fiends, 12 last hits and 10 denies. The level disparity is coming in, Shadow Fiend's almost 4, or as Tiny is almost 3, Shadow Fiend is 4, he's doubled up his level now. Tiny should level when these creeps die to the tower, let's see if he gets the last hit. Ooh, missed it. He's not he's not doing anything, he didn't get any of those three. So Val's medium bot's not proving to be tough competition yet. Uh, the last hit deny ratio is huge for beginner AI. Cancel the TP! Ooh, Warlock is in trouble here. EA has a dagger in one second. Lands it. Zeus doesn't have mana, he should have bought some mangoes. Warlock's ooh, thinking about the bounty rune. Running towards his Kunker. Kunker's running in now! Oh, yeah, they're gonna leave that one. Oh, Zeus is thinking about it though. Kunker comes back in. Oh, this is looking not great. We've got a death on the Warlock, 200 gold, not really a fight recap. Salve's up. He doesn't have the mana to cancel that salve, he should be okay here. A fight Ooh, underneath the chapter. tier 1 tower is a different story, this is something the medium bots can win. And thankfully beginner AI... It's aware that that's a dangerous thing to do. So we're four minutes into the game now. Two kills for beginner AI, zero kills for the medium bots made by Valve. But the CS is the story of this game. Legion is farming up a storm, Shadow Fiend is farming up a storm. I mean, the entire Dire squad of these oh. Valve medium bots have less than 10 last hits between them. They're getting Tower Dove, Luna's salving up. Let's have a look at this net worth chart. Five Radiant Heroes at the top of the net worth. Sanking salving up, but no one's farming the wave. This is all just lost gold, Valve medium bots. That have been thinking of getting aggressive on the tiny. He's not, like he's dumpstering him, but he's not dump dumpstering him. He's not getting much done. All of the kills have come from bottom lane. Keep an eye down there. EA? Yeah. Using the dagger nicely to get some farm in. It looks like she's going treads first, which is not the worst build I've ever seen for a PA. Bulling blade, wraith band, boots, wand, treads. That's not bad. That is not a bad build up for PA. Zeus has got a null. Looks like they're going in for a bit of aggression here. Zeus jumps! Beginner AI using abilities that were added recently. You take a bot that was made in 2016, it's not going to use that ability. Heavenly Jump didn't exist back then. Oh, PA thinks of diving. Wallop TP's home. Got some aggression. Luna TP's out. Catch the end of it. Sorry for the poor camera work. Trying to follow one fight, got the other. Sanking's left in no man's land. Runs back in. Don't know, do not know where he was going, but he is dead. Back to the last hits. We've seen that there are five Radiant Heroes on top. Let's have a look at the gold graph. Regeneration. It's predicting a 100% probability win for the Dyer, which implies to me that <laughs> gold uh, the win probability just doesn't work in private lobbies with bots in. We're looking at a 5k gold lead at 6 minutes. They're doubling up on them. Their XP 4 levels the higher. Warrior. The Legion is grateful. I mean, Valve medium bots are getting crushed by a beginner AI. This is a big disparity. If you are out there and you are one of the other 14 teams in the Dota 2 Bot Masters 2022, and you're watching this, be afraid of a beginner AI. Because it's a beginner AI. It, it's the first time that it's, it's doing its thing. It's just a little baby. But it's killing this adult medium bot. Diving the tower on the SK. That's aggressive, they decide against it. Take a look back mid, a very boring lane to be honest. It's just Shadow Fiend getting 29 denies in 7 minutes, wow. 30 denies now. 
Some combat in the bottom lane, Zeus is low. Hunter's half. This is where you need that Orb of Venom. Or uh, the upgrade. The Orb of Corrosion, is that what it's called? That will let the PA chase a little more aggressively on these melee heroes. They have two pseudo slows. They've got the dagger, they've got the lightning bolt. It, look, it's a little bit of slowing, but it's not enough to kill this Kunker. But he is just going to walk back into the lane and presumably die the next two times he does this. <laughs> We've got three heroes top, four heroes top for the dire side. This is their chance to take a good fight. Tiny, getting brutalized, running, can't juke. Didn't try to juke really. Legion's got jewel up now. Four heroes up here. Can they get the Necrophos? Cancel the TP, they do! Kill on the board for the Valve Medium Bot. Legion runs in 1v3, lands a jewel. That is the first of presumably a lot of jewel damage for this Legion. Someone else dies somewhere. Kunker gets brutalized by Shadow Fiend and PA who's rotated to kill him. SK's coming, picks up an Invis rune. I don't know what you plan to do with that, buddy. Let's see where he goes with that. But Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Across the map, a relatively even trade. Tier 1 tower getting pushed by the Shadow Fiend now. It's a half health. Bot towers at full. Bot towers below half. Three dire heroes mid now, so it looks like they're splitting up. SK's invis, Luna's running around. But they have no purpose to this pincer movement. Necro's covering it off quite well. I was about to say popped smoke, but there was no smoke involved. And sure enough, Dyer gives up on it. The Necro rotates, leaves these two heroes mid. Tiny... Tiny is looking at the rune spot. It takes him 10 seconds to realize there's no rune, so he TPs top to get some XP. We are still looking at a horrific beatdown in the CS. The medium bots are just not willing to fight for the CS, but they go in on the Shadow Fiend. Four heroes diving him. Gets to the tier one and they back off. He's level nine, they're level four and five. It's just too many denies. Warlock's getting hit hard by the Shadow Fiend. One more click will do it. Shadow Fiend salves up. Decides against it. He buys a point booster. But Warlock's going for the haste rune. Picks it up. Haste. Kunker. Jungling question mark? Three die heroes at the small camp. I mean. If you only have 6 CS on a Luna, using 3 people to jungle a small camp to get still 6 CS on a Luna, but getting tiny 20 gold, it's a decision. I won't say it's a good one, but it is a decision that they have made. EA's free farming bot, Shadow Fiend's free farming mid, Got a skirmish up top, Zeus ult comes in, that's one dead, Legion duel him. Duel him! She doesn't duel him, she's a coward. They're taking no damage because of the vanguard. May as well just go for it. Catapult on the tower, you have to presume, is the end of Dyer's the tier one. Is under attack. Tiny pops a clarity whilst at full mana. Um, yeah, these medium bots are not great. They deny the catapult to slow the push. Dyer's top tower Baits a warlock TP. Jewel? No jewel. Tiny gets a decent stun there. 3v2, 4v2, under the tower. To slow TP. In they come. Necrophos immediately bursted. Legion running for their life now. Turns for the big overwhelming odds. Die heroes are low. Legion's thinking about him. The Sand King is left in no man's land as everyone runs away because they're low health. She decides against it. The Vanguard. Not providing any damage to the Legion, but making sure that she's quite safe. Dyer's she TP's mid, she has no mana. Dyer's middle tower, mid tower taken down by the Shadow Fiend. 8,000 gold lead at 12 minutes. Dyer's structures if are you ever have uh, a 1,000 gold a minute style lead, that's the definition of a stomp. Shadow Fiend hunts, 
finds uh, his Sand King, cuts him down. Now Tiny's next on the menu. The Shadow Fiend, he spent the whole early game farming and now he wants to kill. Hunting. Ooh, I think he could have got that if he kept chasing with a final raise. Just got the mana for it at the end. Legion chasing the Conquer. Oh, Luna dies, but Legion's chasing the Conquer. Not sure press the attack was the choice there, but it gets a double kill for the PA anyway. I think she should have dueled him. He would have died, she would have got dual damage, but still a good kill. Now we have two dead towers. Bot and mid towers are dead. Dyer rotating five heroes bot to defend this bush. Tier 2 tower getting cruised. 13 minutes. Sand King channeling the ult. Here it comes, big fight. Zeus is dead. EA's dead. Legion's low. Ooh, Luna's ult's just off the mark, but the tower shot finishes it. Humongous fight. C can I get the recap for that fight, please? 2k gold swing. Huge fight for the Dyer. Medium bots. Bring five heroes bot. Defend Dyer's the tower. tower is under attack. And this is one of those calm periods where we can talk about the way that bots work. Some bots, if a tier 2 tower is attacked, will TP 5 heroes to it. Other bots will completely disregard tower pushing, they just won't care, they'll do their own Dyer's thing. Middle tower is under attack. Valve medium bots seem strong on the defense, they really want to defend things. Necrofoss should be okay here, unless he goes back in. There are four dire heroes here. But the Luna is dying to creeps. Luna's dead. She hasn't finished her treads yet. She doesn't have any form of survivability item. Like, the Bazzi's not going to keep you alive. Legion Jungles picks up a neutral item. This is spicy. Because I wasn't sure which bots jungle for neutrals and which bots don't. If a game goes 30-40 minutes, neutral items are huge. Urn of Shadows onto the SK, but he just sandstorms and runs. Got three Radiant Heroes mid, and they are... fat Radiant Heroes. They are the top three. Oh wait, never mind. PA wasn't there. PA's coming. She's on her way. A little bit slow. Ooh. Beginner AI. Little bit of a bad mistake. This grouping is not going well, but they just jump the gun and he dies. They are really grouped. I can see some bots taking advantage of this positioning, but the pushing, very aggressive. That's a tier 2 tower dead at 15 minutes. Dyer's middle tower has Kicked fallen. off the gun cut. Hunting in the jungle, Legion finds a warlock. Jewel him. Jewel him. <laughs> Jewel him. Come on. Doesn't get a chance to jewel him, he dies. Uh, I may have cast a curse jinx them when I said the 10 was the first of many. If they had jeweled people when I said jewel them, she would have a good 30 jewel damage now. They jump the Sand King under the tier 3s. They have the catapult, they are damaging this tower. But I, do they, I think that's just a little bit too far. Especially when your Necro is working on the outpost. Gives up on it though because he sees Luna, scares him a little bit. The Zeus is farming. Um, not sure what for. Sanking dies. Stricken out. He comes outside of the base, and that's it. Uh, couldn't have caught that. Would never have expected it. He just went from a hundred to nothing. Raid. Uh, die aside. The Valve medium bots are beginning to farm a little bit more, but still barely CSing. You would hope to see this sort of. 10, 11, 12 CS at 2 to 3 minutes? We're 16 minutes in and they have 10 CS on their cores. Shadow Fiend has 100. Luna jumps in and she's dead. There's the jewel! 20 jewel damage. They're running in. Tiny's dead. It's a lot of damage. Boat comes in. Stuns 5! Wow. PA's tanking the tower. She's quite low, but they heal her and salve her. And earn her. Sand King comes in, but is evaporated. That's his blink. 
Fair play to him. He, he has his blink. He has no CS, but he's managed to get his blink. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. The most farmed here on the Dyer side is that Sanking with his blink. Jump the Warlock. Just a little bit more and he dies. Luna is feeling emboldened to come out and fight because the Kunkas on the sideline, but Kunkas are already dead. Tiny stuns the creeps. That'll slow the push a little bit, but mid and bot tower both in danger here. That was technically caught on the casting camera. You can't say I missed that kill. Tiny's running down mid. What is he doing? Jeweled and dead. Okay, now the jewel damage is building up. 30 points of jewel damage. She has a shit tango. Warlock's TPing to the shrine. Picks up the bounty rune. That's a cheeky play, actually. And now he's just going to stand there whilst the racks are taken. But buddy, they need your chaotic offering. They need the rock. Jump the Kunker just to scare him off. Tribute. They're running away from the tower, but if all five just hit that tower once or twice, it would be dead. Luna instantly pop. Full to 10%. Warlock wanders in, dies as well. Here's a blade in your eye. This is a cruising for a bruising. Beginner AI showing that they are nothing to be messed with. They are gonna dumpster some of the weaker teams in this tournament. Tiny runs in, good stun on three, but he's jeweled and he's dead. Like, well fought. Dyer's middle tower the macro play attack. here is Dyer's very poor. Dyer glyphs the tower, it does clear out a couple of creeps, but is the way that Valve medium bots got that good fight earlier was here, under this tier 2, when beginner AI was overextending, the tower was hitting them, they got some big stuns, they landed the AoEs, they got the, the huge sanking ult, which probably got him his blink. The problem is, they haven't had anything else good happen for them since the horn blew 20 minutes ago. Necro's running top, he's chasing the Sand King. He could probably solo him because he's geared up. Got some interesting movement now. Beginner AI farming the enemy small camp. They have neutral items equipped on some of their heroes, not all of them. Zeus has finished a drum, uses it to drum up and jump the Warlock and Shadow Fiend cleans it up. It was just a casual point booster for the Shadow Fiend, he went back for the BKB. Legion has the full Crimson Guard, I'm not sure about that, I would have liked to... A blink, something initiatory. Battle attack. Fury for the PA, so. Ugh. A farm isn't great, but it's much, much better than anyone on the other side of the field. Hunker gets jumped, Tiny gets jumped, double kill for the Legion Commander. It's such a massacre that <laughs> I just sort of want to look at the minimap and see who's getting jumped next. Talked about Zeus's items. Necro's gone mech. But if, if we look at the dire items, there's, there's, there's no items. Dyer's top tower is under attack. There's Veil on Warlock, Blink Sand King, Dyer's top tower has drums on the Gunker, but they haven't made anything really. The Warlock is out of position, gets spotted and altered by the Necro. They're hunting now, they're running aggressively towards Roche. Do the bots do Roche? It's where Luna's hiding. She's about to run uphill into her own jungle, and in between hits on the tomato, the Shadow Fiend just pops her. Meanwhile, Sanking dies under his tier 3 mid. They're chasing PA. She is alone. This could be a kill for them. Two on one. All she has is Battle Fury treads. That's not necessarily going to keep her that alive. It's not like she's got a BKB and she can TP out. She has a farming item. They are still chasing her, missing their skills. Torrent Dyer's off the mark, they give up on it, attack. it seems. Shadow Fiend farming up Bob. This guy is big. This should make my life easier. A 500 GPM on the Shadow Fiend. He's buying... Blade of Alacrity. Oh wow, someone just died. It was the Tiny. 
Fight happening top. This is non-stop action, really. We, I mean, we have 35 kills in 22 minutes. Wanted to talk about uh, Shadow Fiend bought the Axe Shard for extra souls. Drums up on the dire side. I don't know if you want to be chasing out there. Legion finds Kunker. She duels him! Ooh, the stun from the Shadow for the Sanking stops that duel from being won, but it Looks Dyer's like maybe she won it in the end anyway. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Well, they've stunned the Legion, but that's not going to do very much. Okay, back to Dyer's wanting to talk about Shadow Fiend. I think he's building eggs. Warlock's out of position, gets popped. EA farming, the entire Radiant Squad farming aggressively on the Dire High Ground jungle. I like that position. You're this far attack. ahead, do not give the enemy team space. Uh, Midrax dies to Shadow Fiend in the meanwhile. Axe is complete on Dyer's him. Middle barracks has fallen. Means the double Requiem. They're hitting the tier 4s because they want this to be over, but maybe they should go get the bot Rax? However, is there anything that valve medium bots can do to stop this and i don't think there is they have the glyph and the glyph means you've got these two towers hitting for about 150 on all the heroes you land like a big chaotic offering you pop the rock on him you get the sand king blink epicenter pop the glyph as your source of damage they Dyer's could have had a good fight fallen. here maybe but they're just Picking up the outpost, running around the river, running around the river, and pushing out bot wave. That's not going to win him the game. And Shadow Fiend, he says, listen, I've got 13k net worth. I'm worth more than all three of your cores. Come and stop me from killing your ancient. And Valve Medium Bots has no answer. Jonathan's a bit hesitant, he's doing a bit of a dance here. Ancient is under but he is finishing the game right Dyer's now. Courier has been killed. They all are. Radiant's Legion's farming, but... Under attack. Unless Dyer's they do five TPs back attack. right now, it's it's over. A beginner AI cruises to victory. As Shadow Fiend not single-handedly carries them. That was definitely a tricore lineup, and all of them dumps the lanes, but... Oh boy, that was a very stompy beginning for this Dota 2 2022 Bot Masters tournament. That was quite brutal, really. Um, Valve Medium Bots, they had one good moment. They had that good moment. Um, it was about maybe 10, 12 minutes in. Tier 2 fight, bottom lane, under their tower. They got a triple kill, and that was it. Nothing good ever happened again. Uh, you can see it, the uh, lineup of a beginner AI. I had questions about it due to how greedy it was, really. Like, you don't have an... You've got like a Necro 4 and a Zeus 5. That's... That's really quite greedy. Um, I think it was a Zeus 5, actually. Yeah, he laned with the beer. You've got a Zeus 5 and a Necro 4. Those are greedy, greedy picks. You don't have great source of disable or stun. You've got the micro stun from Zeus Lightning Bolt. You've got Jewel. Ugh. To me, that's not a great draft, but they made up for it very cleanly with raw mechanical skill, um, game sense, map awareness. Everything they did was brutal. They had a couple slip ups. They had some bad positioning. A beginner AI is not an unstoppable team. They have their weaknesses, but they are clearly leagues and leagues above Valve's default medium bots who just would not find a way into the laning stage. Sanking, I would say, is the MVP for Valve default medium bots. He got that huge epicenter at the bottom fight, three kills off the back of that. Got his blink to a reasonable timing in under 18 minutes. In terms of Radiant side, your MVP has to be the Legion. Crushed top lane, ran around not dueling people, and then ran around dueling people, blew open the map. The Shadow Fiend did the most building damage, I'm going to imagine, when we open this up. But I feel like the Legion did 
the most hero damage, just. Zeus did quite a lot, but he just ults and it accumulates. Got the full stats here. Thing is, um, <laughs> I lack the mechanical skill as a Dota 2 player to fully break down everything that happened. However, I want to talk a little bit about the post-game screen because one thing that has always annoyed me about watching Dota 2 tournaments is someone uploads a VOD and the VOD is 19 minutes long. You know one of the teams is going to win in the first 19 minutes. Whoever gets the, the early lead is going to win it. The problem with that is you sort of know when the end is coming. Um, so I want to make sure that I talk for a little bit, pad out the length of the video so that it's not immediately obvious when the game ends. However, for this game, it's not really necessary, I don't think. The top farmer was the Shadow Fiend. He had ridiculous 50 denies. Every single person on a beginner AI was heavily denying creeps. We're not going to talk much about the Valve default medium bots. They didn't put enough of a showing in this game to really warrant much to talk about. But let's take a moment to talk about a beginner AI's denying and lane presence. Can they pull that off against the better teams? If they can, what sort of level advantage are they going to have, which will let them take harder fights, which will let them win fights, which will let them snowball the lead? They were really aggressive. They had their finger on the pulse to end this game. They were just walking down mid, crushing down the racks, taking tier fours. They're like, that's it. I'm just going to end this game. Did they do that because they sensed they were ahead? Or are they always that aggressive? In which case, a team that has even net worth and even levels, are they going to punish that? Is a beginner AI going to overextend and get crushed? We'll find out over the course of the rest of the group stage. They have a monumental task ahead of them. Do a beginner AI. They're in the same group as Edge AI. And listen, I'm not an analyst. I'm just some guy in a red shirt. I don't know that much. But Alan... Alan Analyst, his surname is Analyst. He did an analysis video, go watch it, it's great. And he pointed out that his favorite to win the whole tournament is Edge AI. He thinks they're just a cut above all the other bots. Unfortunately for a beginner AI, their, their seed, their ranking is about sixth. So are they gonna be able to put up a fight against Edge AI? Maybe they can. After seeing this, I feel like they could put up a fight against anyone. But maybe that's just because the Valve medium bots were just so bad that it made them look good. Anyway, that's all for the first match, Group A. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.